Real City. Very modern now, although there's still a place for those barges on the canal. And our venue just kind of sits overlooking the water. 30th year we've staged this tournament in Birmingham. And we are moving on now to our fourth match uh, of the session. It's men's singles, and maybe not a match that too many would have predicted at this stage. Koki Watanabe of Japan up against Christo Klopov from France. That's the quarter-final scenario. The winner of this one will face the winner of the match between top seed Victor Axelsson and Anthony Ginting of Indonesia. Make some noise as the players step on court. It's Japan's Koki Watanabe and France's Christo Popov. So both unseeded, although Popov coming in off the back of a terrific win in the German Open in Mulheim a couple of weeks ago, where he beat uh, Rasmus Gemko in the final. Played exceptionally well. That event. He's the younger of the two Popov brothers. One apiece on the head to head. Watanabe won the last one. Okay. It was a Red year ago at the black. round of 16 stage Red. So black of is the for Spain you. Masters. Black. That court? Receive. You receive. Koki, you will serve. Just 22 years of age uh, is Popov. Three years his opponent's junior. Watanabe just inside the world's top 20. It is his best ranking. Started playing at just uh, four years of age, inspired by a sister. He's a former national junior champion. And his breakthrough win came last year at the Swiss Open. That was his first victory in a World Tour event, the Super 300. He actually beat Chao Qin Chen in three games. It was a huge moment for him. And if he could get to the semis, it would be a phenomenal achievement. I reckon for both of these men, they'll look at it as a huge opportunity. Playing another non-seed. He beats Christo's brother, Tomi Jr. in the second round, having disposed of Wang Zhu Wei in the first round, both of those in straight games. As for Christo Popov, still just 22, as I mentioned. Just one off his best ever ranking. That was earlier this month, actually, when he was 23 in the world. Almost silver medalist at the World Junior Championships. He was actually ranked uh, number one in the junior rankings of the world in 2020. Obviously comes from a family steeped in badminton. His father was a Bulgarian international. He plays doubles with... Ready to play. Silver. silver medal at the European Games last year. I mentioned that terrific win he had against uh, Gemke. It's been a tough journey to the uh, quarterfinals, though. Two three-game matches. He does seem to specialise in, in uh, long matches, does Popov. Paul de Kuyper is the chair umpire. Latif Jahari is the service judge. Chris, I find this very difficult to call. Yeah, there's going to be so many things that are going to come into it. You know, it's going to. This is massive for both players. Before the tournament, if anyone had said to either of these two players, you have the chance to be in the semi-final of the All England, I think they would have, you know, bitten their hand off. So it's such a big game, and I would agree it's a 50-50. Yeah, and especially playing another non-seed in the quarter-final, it's kind of lit large in front of both of them, isn't it? The chance here. 
as you say, the implications, particularly for, for Popov, huge. Obviously, he won't get another chance to play Ladies and gentlemen, on home soil. On my right, that's how big it is. Christophe Popov, France. And on my left, Koki Watanabe, Japan. Koki Watanabe to serve. Laval. Play. Touch. One love. Yes, yeah, a very confident in start to the match. Koki, incredible. Lovely backhand cross court net. Slightly unaware of what's what's happening in regards to the race for Paris. You've got the two pop-off brothers. You've got Thomas and Christo, who are at the moment the two French players that are leading the pack. And Christo, for the first time, just overtook his brother. It's 2,000 points ahead to try and qualify for a home Olympics, which is such a big thing. Distance from Popov. After some very stoic defending from Watanabe. like he's come here with a game plan. Yeah, he's definitely come out calm and relaxed. One. He's had a good start to the match. And there are no secrets these days, I and mean, they can all watch the other players. They've got numerous videos available if they want to try and check up on their opponents. Yeah, and they both definitely have done video analysis before the game to have a good understanding what they each other's going to do. that Christo's improved over the last two years. He's still so young at only 22 years of age. Definitely one of the up-and-coming Europeans. Rally. Service over. Four, two. Didn't have the dramatics of a jump smash ending, but there's some fabulous play in that exchange for both men. Just dropping on the line from the Japanese. When he gets the chance, he's injecting pace in the mid. I think he's confident that he thinks he's better than Koki in the mid. In the flat game, definitely. Using his doubles skills. Yeah, not too many of the top players in singles play doubles also, but he does with his brother. 
puts an enormous strain, doesn't it, though, Chris, on the on the body and mentally. Yeah, you're training everything. It's, it's, a lot of players don't do it just because physically it takes too much, but also to be a specialist as singles and doubles, they're such different events, you know, totally, totally different. The amount of training you have to split your training into as well. Five, it's a very, very unique situation that they have. But then they also have an even more unique one in regards to they're away from the, the national setup in France and their father is the person that trains them and coaches them, travels with them. Forward, it's a push, but he's going at Cocky's body. Just gives me the impression, Potter, he's warming to the task here. And he's definitely confident. Some of the shots we've seen him play, some holds and then some double actions, and he's going to be confident. So he had that massive, massive result only a few weeks ago at the German Open. Yeah, and to beat a very solid player like Genka, and not only beat him, but he was dominant in that final. Huge confidence boost. Six, five. I think I can be fairly confident in saying this is going to be a, a very well contested match in regards to you're going to see a lot of long rallies. It's going to be a lot of hard work put in. We're not going to see many quick, easy, cheap points. Christo for only 22 is such a mature player already. Really does have a very bright future ahead of him. Commentator's curse there, it's an easy gift. Cocky gave Christo there. Good leave that, very good judgment. Again, just a comment how we're not going to see any cheap rallies. We have two incredibly quick, cheap points. Just perfect for Christo to just build this momentum. Three points, Chris has not really had to do anything. Three very easy points, building his confidence, building the momentum for the Frenchman. Good variation on the serve. Did exactly the same in the rally before, and it was quite effective. Taken over this quarter final, the Frenchman. 11 6 ahead at the mid game break. If I can it's rising until edge shots, then he will try something crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So for me, it's more to 
フォームはさ前もやってたそういうところで詰めてきてボディーになったし結構安定してるラウンドロープもあんまりランジャンプないフィーチャーだはい。Rally. You can see there was a point where as soon as Cristo gets the mid-court in the flat game, he's so aggressive. As soon as he injects pace in the flat game, he's stepping forward on this forehand here, and then he's going forward. Maybe one time he's ready for that now. Of maturity for a 22 year old, yeah, and he was in trouble for a lot of that rally. Found a way out, reads this lovely little reverse to finish it with. Good attack, steps up, takes it early, and then reverses it. Sends Cocky the wrong way. Thank <laughs> you. 
Just feels like now Christo is just trying to take advantage of the situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, y
turnaround here. With Watanabe suddenly finding some inspiration from somewhere. Popov just going off the boil a little bit. Just shows, doesn't take long. Timing-wise, this is exactly what the Japanese player needed. He needed it 17-11 down. It was looking, it was looking difficult to see a comeback. And all of a sudden, all the momentum's with him. All the pressure's now building on Christo. Great pickup. Just forced it wide. Song's over. 18 16. This will be frustrating because he's just let his level dip at precisely the wrong time, hasn't he, Watanabe? Did have a lot of spin on the net from Christo, but it's a peculiar shot to play. Could have just lifted it and restarted the rally. Good quality lift is good, yeah? Positive, be patient. 1960. for the 22-year-old Frenchman. Yeah, that was really impressive from Chris, though, really well read. Ready, That'll do. And there's the fifth celebration. 21-17. It was nip and tuck early on in the game, but Popov emerged the stronger at the business end and takes it in 23 minutes. He leads one game to Rallies where you get him not into this flat game is because you're doing a good lift.
to the amount of on-course there is. Tanabe, just a few too many so far. Christo's been calm, he's been patient. Definitely the better player so far, Christo. He's defended really well, really high work rate, he's moving well, looking smooth. Just his on first errors. Just forcing it when he's not really got the opportunity. Cocky. Choices, playing calm, playing composed. He's not forcing it, he's waiting for the opportunity. He's confident. Tanabe, he's just not sure, forcing it at the wrong times. The composure and calmness of Christo and the way he's moving the shuttle around. And he's moving so quick out there. Causing the Japanese player a lot of problems. unless he can cause a lot of problems, unless he can really change the rhythm of this game. It's sort of knocked Christo off of this flow that he's on. It's, it's looking ominous. It's looking difficult for the, the higher-ranked player from Japan. from the corner at the moment, it's just all the same. That was smart play, you didn't have to go for the line, he had a margin of error there. Yeah, slightly short clear, took full advantage of it. That's a lovely wrong-footing shot from Watanabe. I think that's probably only the second time in the whole match where Christo's not anticipated correctly, uh, steps up. Shows how many times he's predicting the right thing. And he's moving so well. None of that fatigue that he had last week in the French Open from the German Open is showing today. He looks so smooth and quick out there.
has been so good in the flat game. As soon as he's had the opportunity, he's gone at the body and just been ready. He's been in trouble, he's gone out or controlled it. Nine, three. I think just rolling now. The amount of unforced errors. What's an RB? It's just, it's just too many in situations that aren't too complex. Had that one little run, didn't he, the Japanese, when he was 17-11 down first game and put some heat on Popov. But other than that, Frenchman's been in almost complete control of this match. Yeah, I totally agree. I'd say he's predicted 99% of where the shuttle's going. Chris, though, he's been on balance, he's been in a good position. He's moved smoothly and quick. And to be fair, hardly any unforced errors from him. Here's a good smash. Credit to Thomas Senior Popov. You know, a lot of people think that it's hard to create, you know, very, very high-level players without a fantastic environment around you and all these resources. And you know, full credit to him, he's kind of done it south of France with his two sons, and he's turned them into really, really high-level players. Points to six to five, I beg your pardon. And Popov looking good for a place in tomorrow's set.
11-5. So just, you fancy a case of Totov keeping his concentration here. Not letting anything affect the way he's playing because he's been all over Watanabe for the most part. Good defence from the Japanese initially. He only got the chance. And he put it away unoveringly. See there, Endo very happy with his his player. But we've seen moments of this, but it's been moments. We it's just been not enough of it. So he's been so good in the flat game in the midcourt. This is the interesting thing. If you said to me, who do I think is the higher ranked player, the more mature, calm player, um, the older player out there, I would say it looks like it's Christo. Obviously, it's not. But it's, it's amazing how Christo is dealing with this high pressure you know, situation where he's on the world scene. He's in the quarter final of the All England and so far, handling everything incredibly well. Trying to hit that too hard. Seven, yeah, it's a bit of bad luck, like the string going. Good lift. Christo just predicted the wrong thing, but it's really important now that he doesn't he doesn't worry, he doesn't overthink. It's happened probably twice in the whole match, and he's le he's led, you know, he's he's leading, he's playing well. He mustn't let that disturb his rhythm. Times where he was in such big trouble. And that's a big point. There, in big, big trouble. And then there again. Survives twice and ends up winning it. But again, the unforced errors. Otanovi, it's just been too many today. Full stretch and the quality on that block. Tough, good quality in that situation, a full stretch. Very, very difficult to do. going kind of for him got to say now if you're a supporter of Japan or a Japanese fan it's, it's looking a massive challenge now it's not just the score it's the momentum of the game the flow And 
this is what I don't understand. 16, well, maybe on the other hand, I do. You know, he's, he's trying to force the point. He's snatching at it. You know, he's, he's obviously getting stressed because he, he knows the score. He knows he's getting outplayed at the moment. Ends up just gifting the point to his opponent. Just has nowhere to go at the moment, Jesse Watanabe. I would almost go as far as to say in this second game it's been comfortable for Christo, which is a, you know, it's a crazy thing to say in the quarter-final of the All England. Well, brilliant block. From what an in that rally. But it may have all come Nine rather too late for the Japanese, you fancy. <laughs> Winners like that have been in short supply for Koki Watanabe here. Such a big lead now that in this sort of position, a young player at 22, you could tense up if it was really close. You could feel the pressure, you could feel someone maybe with the momentum coming back. But unless we have a bit of a miracle here. Well, it's going to have to be a, a pop up meltdown, isn't it? Not to win from here. do anything wrong didn't really have any right to win that rally this is the thing the level that Christo's played out in the second game I mean it's exceptional and it's a really positive um, performance from Christo but it's a positive performance as well for the whole continent of Europe Clutch of match points for the Frenchman to send him into tomorrow's semi. It's a fantastic win for Christo Popov. Dominant performance is no understatement. He's absolutely taken Watanabe to the cleaners. And he's in the semi-final of the All England tomorrow. It's becoming a very, very good 2024 for the youngster. And he's also doing his chances of uh, an appearance in a home Olympics. A huge amount of good. And Christo there almost couldn't believe it himself how good he was today. That was absolutely exceptional in that second game. Semi final of the All England. A smile on his face as he was running into hit back because he knew where it was going. It's the kind of shot you want to win the match from that range. And we'll see him again tomorrow. Potentially against the Olympic champion Victor Axelson.
confirmation of that scoreline. 21-17, 21-10, 44 minutes, the official match time.